Hello YouTube, this is Nisei Koi Chapter 227 Review, and this is not going to be an in-depth review at all. I'm just kind of going to be talking about it now. For those who don't know, I recently just started, or I finished the Nisei Koi anime, and then I read towards the end of the manga. So I skipped a pretty good chunk of chapters, probably about 40 or 50 chapters, so probably all of season 3 that hasn't come out yet, which I'm waiting for. I can't wait till season 3. Maybe this will be in season 3, but in this chapter, basically, we ha we left off from last chapter after Raku or Ichigo, or not Ichigo, but Ichijo, I'm sorry, I get those two names mixed up, but uh, Raku just... Basically, last chapter, from what we know, he told, I always pronounce this girl's name wrong, I'm sorry, uh, a Nataro, he basically told her that he liked her, but he has someone else now, and well, we know that's Chitoge, and basically this chapter, he told Chitoge that he, you know, likes her and stuff, so we already know that Chitoge likes Raku, but now that he has admitted to liking Chitoge, so they both like each other now. So, the... <laughs> this is so hard for me, because I don't like reviewing lovey-dovey stuff and stuff like that. But I really did enjoy this this chapter. Like, <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cut this out. I'm not going to cut this out. You're going to hear me laughing. It's so hard for me to review this. Because, I, honestly, I don't like reviewing lovey-dovey stuff and talking about stuff like that, but... I, I really did enjoy this chapter. It was really good, and just seeing that they, you know, I wanted them to end up, and from what it's looking like, they're going to end up together, and I can't wait till next chapter, and I'm happy about this, and honestly, I don't know how many chapters are left of this manga. I think we'll just probably get, like, I don't know, like, five or ten. Like, I just caught up with all this stuff, like I said. I, I don't know if it's supposed to end uh, any time soon but i saw something like it is supposed to end but anyways this chapter was really good i just like seeing the fact that you know chitake is probably going to end up with raku like i wanted now it does make me feel bad for anataro i'm pronouncing her name wrong once again it makes me feel bad for her because well she was the one that had the promise with raku that when they got older they would marry and honestly i would kind of be mad if they ended up together anataro and raku because i'm for chitake and raku but if that did happen, it would make sense because honestly, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of a douche move to be like, oh, well, yeah, I like you, but I like her more. So yeah, I'm going to her. I mean, I mean, that's, it, it is what it is, but it, it's kind of, it honestly is a douche move or something like that. It makes him kind of look like a scumbag. Like he said in this chapter, he said, it makes me look like a scumbag that I like t two girls. So <laughs> I don't, I thought that was pretty funny. I mean, it kind of does make him look like a scumbag. In my opinion, and in his opinion too, as well. So honestly, I am. I, I really do want Chitake to end up with Raku, which it's so obvious it's gonna happen now. But if it didn't, I'd be like, what the heck? But it it wouldn't. It would kind of make sense in a way because she is the one. Onaru is the one that Raku made the promise to, and he's breaking that promise. But then again, they were just little kids when they made a promise. So it's just like. And it's kind of, I'm still for Chitoge and Raku, but I'm 50-50 on whether I'd be mad or not. I am, honestly, I'm not trying to milk this series out. Like, I know there's people, they're talking about, you know, Sawyer 7 Mage doing reviews on Bleach, and he's not even really caught up and doesn't really know anything about Bleach. Look, I'm not firing Sawyer sorry, sorry 7 Mage either. I don't have a problem with him doing the Bleach manga reviews. I actually, heck, I enjoy the manga reviews he's doing. I like the perspective of someone who doesn't know that much of Bleach and what they think of the chapters, and I'm not trying to bring this into my video, but I'm, like I'm saying, I'm not trying to milk out Nisei Koi, I'm just, I'm giving my thoughts on it, and just kind of reviewing it, and honestly, I, I know what's going on, because the manga, I believe, on season two, they're at, like, chapter 130 something, or 140 something, so, I started reading the chapter after that, so I just skipped that, and then I started reading the recent chapters, all the way to 226, probably like, I probably started reading 220 to 226, so I, I get what's going on, and like I said, I'm not trying to milk this out, I'm just giving my thoughts on this series, like, heck, I just started watching this series like a week ago, and I, I really enjoy it, and I just kind of want to review the manga, plus, um, 
one of uh, my sub subs or whatever you want to call him. He's been a sub for a while. He's very, very nice. Uh, Madara Uchiha, he hit me up on Twitter. He's like, dude, you got to read this. And I was like, all right, dude, I'll read it. And I read it, and I was like, I don't know if I'll review this, but hey, I'm here right now reviewing it, and he, you're probably watching it, dude. But this video has gone on long enough. I'm, like I said, I'm not trying to milk out Nisa Koi. I'm just, I'm just reviewing. I'm just telling my thoughts on it. It's not really a review, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyways, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below. Tell me what you think of this chapter, and are you happy, or were you an, a Nadaro and a Raku fan? And anyways, guys, subscribe for more content. Anyways, Zuno is out. I'm not gonna do the big yell like I always do. I think everybody's getting tired of that, so I'll, I'm not. I'm just gonna not do that anymore. And this is going on now. Anyways, I'm out.